I poke the bear. And they don't like it because they want to bully you. They, they think you're going to go away. They, and here's the best part of this whole thing. Are you going to go away? No, no. A McHenry County restaurant owner says he's being ticketed for flying the American flag in front of his business. Uh, but the village says, uh, and this is Prairie Grove we're talking about, says it's where he is flying the flag that is causing the problem. Fox 32's Dane Placco now with the story of a flag fight that's blowing up on social media. There's that old saying, you can't fight City no, Hall. Well, you can, because now I have an attorney and we are going to fight because I'm tired. Terry Trobiani says he was just trying to celebrate the 4th of July when he placed two American flags on wooden poles in front of Gianelli's, his hot dog and beef business along Highway 176. Next day, the village administrator comes in and he gives me a pamphlet of a sign ordinance pertaining to flags. He says, you might want to read this. But just one day later, Trobiani says the village of Prairie Grove gave him two tickets for improper display, which he's now taped to his front door. The American flag is a symbol of patriotism. It's not a sign. They're, they're equating it with open, closed, dine-in, dine-out product that you serve in a restaurant. That's why it falls under sign words. I love the United States flag. Uh, I'm a patriot myself. Um. Prairie Grove Village President David Underwood says Trobiani got ticketed because the flags were illegally too close to the road and could have blown into traffic. It's disgraceful uh, because he's using the American flag as a tool to further his business interests. The flag fight has gone viral on social media, and Trobiani says he's getting hundreds of messages of support and people waving flags rallying at his business. Okay. We had 50 people out here Saturday with trucks, horns, speakers, signs, support small business, support the American flag. The two ordinance violations come with a $200 fine. Tribbiani says he plans to fight it in court next month, even if hiring a lawyer costs him more than just paying the fines. In Prairie Grove, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.